Welcome to day 37 of our 40 daily 10 minute places of pause. Today is all about this vocational calling that I believe pulses, beckons, invites each and every one of us to be generous, to be philanthropists, to give the gifts that we have to those around us near and far and to feel good to feel that sense of deep meaning, purpose, feel good juju as we go about our lives. Before we get to that, we're going to take a moment to be still, to take a beat, to breathe. And my invitation to you today is once again, if you feel comfortable doing so, to close your eyes, plant your feet on the ground, and ask yourself, how do you feel? you were to kind of with our theme today imagine the state of your heart your mind your spirit your body do you feel rich filled up to the brim do you feel poor needing much uh, just low on energy and on fuel and on resources wherever you are or somewhere in the middle I invite you to just breathe, to be there, and to feel some arms of those you love just mysteriously wrapping around you, to feel nourished, to feel held, to feel uh, peace, calm, even plenty in the midst of lack, to feel calm, peace, and plenty in the midst of much, but to be in that place of stillness no matter what is swirling around. Keep being there, keep breathing. And I'm gonna read uh, an excerpt, a section that's all around this idea of being philanthropists. I believe you have gifts aplenty to give that can make a mighty difference in the world. You have more than you think that is of inextricable value to you and those in your human family near and far. Generosity feels good. It's part of your purpose on the planet. So today and together, let's dispute the suggestion that philanthropy is an exclusive club only for those deemed wealthy. Today and together, let's dispute that the only thing that matters and makes a difference is giving in big ways. Instead, today and together, let's create a movement of philanthropists in which everyone is welcome and all gifts are celebrated. When we commit to being and doing this way together, we then become part of something big. It then becomes the stuff of movements powerfully rooted and growing out of the everyday. I invite you to try on the hat of a philanthropist. Yes, you. This sort of philanthropy is about an unrestrained generosity rooted in the reality of your everyday life. It finds ways to share with others the treasure trove of whatever you have and whatever you love. It elevates the way you spend your time and what you talk about with your friends. It finds opportunities to travel to places and volunteer with people who captivate your heart. It makes a difference with with something as ordinary as shopping, declaring that how and where you shop will be done with a commitment and connection to your sisters and brothers near and far. This adventure, my friend, is for you. It's not just for others, for others who seem more privileged, who seem to have greater bandwidth or capacity, who seem to be world-changing types, all the labels we give each other. You have gifts aplenty to give that can and will make a mighty difference in the world. You have more than you think that is of inextricable value to you, to those in your mighty human family, 
to those near and to those far. The movement that will be unleashed when we each live as generously unrestrained philanthropists will light up the world. So I'm going to take this into our threefold place of pause, our pop. First, be still, surrender. Whether today finds you feeling rich or poor, with much or little to give. Whether this idea of wearing the hat of a philanthropist is brand new or ancient to you. Let it all go. Doing and talking time will come. But this, this is quiet time. This is being time. Bask in the silence. Be here. Let go. Fill up. Second, ponder. Go deeper. In this being stillness sort of space, just sit for a bit. Maybe return here when we're finished and let the words, the invitation to wear a hat of a philanthropist wash over you. See if a word or a feeling takes root in you or around this vocational calling. Regardless of the amount of money in your bank account, what treasures, plural, do you see in your life that would feel good, amazing, empowering to share? Be creative and innovative here. Think about time, your professional or creative expertise, your personal story, the things you already own that could be shared with people, conversations throughout your day, or your shopping budget, if you have one. Think about the funds you have for birthdays or holidays or anniversary gifts. Might you give a personal gift to an organization close to the heart of the person you're looking to honor? or around an interest or passion they have, perhaps introducing them to a brand new community of people. Write down some ideas of what would excite you and what is doable to start now. How about this? What strikes you about this idea of being generous and philanthropic in your conversations? So not at all to do with money, but it's another kind of philanthropy giving, generosity. What do you love to talk about? What really matters to you? What would change if you saw yourself entering into conversations with a treasure to share and in those conversations looking for a treasure to receive from others? Consider making a donation to a charity you love and as you do so, making a more personal and connected sort of relationship than you have before. For example, sending an email to the organization, saying thank you, asking if they need any help volunteering, maybe helping with social media, maybe writing a story, all kinds of ways you might do this. Or if you can't or don't want, to personally connect with this organization. What about this? What about stoking the fire of this connection and invitation in your imagination? What I mean about that is this. Envision envision placing your donation squarely and directly in the hands of one person receiving the funds. Imagine looking into their eyes sharing a smile, being in the country where they live. How does it feel? Thirdly, engage, commit, a nudge. Shift shopping into a philanthropic act one time this week and choose an item, coffee, a gift, anything, that is certified fair trade. 
or comes directly from a source that you know that they say promises to pay its workers well. Or whether fair trade or not, consider where the item comes from. Before buying this item, pause. Pause and imagine the hands that crafted it, the eyes that were focused on making it. Send a prayer, a blessing, or some love to the sister or brother that made this item that you're about to buy. Bonus nudge, if you're loving this, consider committing to this act for 30 days. We know that when we do something for 30 days, it becomes a habit. If you love it, make it a habit. Why not? Share something from this pop, from this place of pause with someone you love someone you trust and as you go about your day today go it knowing you're loved that you belong that we belong to each other go it standing tall lighting up the world and making a difference together I love you have a blessed and beautiful day peace